the Maryland National Guard partnered with federal, state, and local emergency agencies to perform rescue techniques for Vigilant Guard. The training exercise takes place four times a year in various locations throughout the United States and U.S. territories. One scenario took place November 5th and 6th at the Fire Department Training Academy in Baltimore, Maryland. Guard components from Maryland and neighboring states worked with Joint Task Force and civilian partners to perform rescue techniques at a chemical production facility explosion site. Uh, the reality is that there are the potentials for these types of uh, incidents to occur. It's necessary for us to reach out to our our local partners such as uh, the Maryland National Guard, uh, they have assets that we certainly don't. Cadre of uh, personnel and resources, so collectively bringing in those resources will certainly help us in the efficiency and the management uh, of a crisis such as this. From first response agencies like the fire department and the emergency medical service to search and rescue teams and decontamination specialists, the exercise tests each component's capability and ability to work together. Once a building is, is collapsed, uh, the dynamics, the physics totally change on that building. And every time we move something, every time we lift something, we have to make sure that uh, we're not going to cause additional collapses or additional injuries. So the structural engineers help us figure that out. Our rescue specialists actually help uh, help us to, uh, to go through the extrication process. Then we have medical personnel who are specially trained to handle um, the type of medical concerns. Over 2,000 people participated in November's Vigilance Guard. From the Maryland Army National Guard 29th Mobile Public Affairs Detachment in Baltimore, I'm Specialist Aimee Fujikawa.